Well, when temperatures drop, Science Central is still open for some indoor fun. Today, we're joined by Executive Director Martin Fisher. He's here with an experiment. We're not just staying warm with this itty bitty candle. No, can't you feel it? It's <laughs> oh, so yeah. nice. It's so nice. Yeah, I love that when I was doing the bump shot. Right, right. All right, I figured it is so miserably, dismally cold today. Mm -hmm. Let's do some science experiments relating okay. to thermodynamics. There's your word for today. All right. Thermodynamics relates to the science of heat, right? Temperature. Here's the thing to remember. Heat moves. Cold okay. does not move. Okay. Heat moves from something that's warm, like our warm bodies, mm -hmm. into something that's cold, like the cold air and the cold snow. Cold does not move. So, some things absorb or take the heat faster. Some things take that heat slower. What I want for you to do is to take this air balloon. Okay. It's filled with air, normal air. Right. Blew it up. You're going to hold it over the candle. Is it going to pop on it me? It will pop. Full warning, <laughs> you'll be okay. It is going to pop right. because Top air close. takes that heat very rapidly and air does not hold heat very well. A little right, closer. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, okay, it didn't, it didn't <laughs> okay. pop like I it thought it was pop, going to. Oh but let's go ahead and relight <laughs> our candle. So right. that was the air. Okay. Air, as you saw, Ooh. popped pretty rapidly. Some In fact, wax everywhere. let's just double check. <laughs> I've got another balloon here. Okay. Let's double check. Oh, there yep, it goes. Sure enough, heat moved into it very rapidly, right. and the air did not hold the heat very well. So now we're going to go ahead and compare it to a water balloon. This is an experiment and an activity you can do at home. Obviously, mom and dad, I'm teachers, step back make sure that you help out because we're dealing with candles. Water balloon. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it? Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. And you're just going to hold that water okay. balloon. No, I'm come so closer. No. Come closer because I'm going to move further away. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. All right. All right. So here's what's going on. You'll notice that she has it directly over the candle. That is in the perfect spot, directly over the flame. And it's not popping. No. That's because the heat from the candle is going into the water balloon and water is what's known as a heat sink. It okay. holds the heat very, very easily. And this water is cold too. And the water so is helps. cold. Yeah, yeah. It could have been warm water as well. All right, you, and you can make see me nervous. If I turn it over, there's a little bit of carbon. Right. But it didn't pop because the water absorbed and held the mm -hmm. heat. Our poor, poor air balloon <laughs> did not hold that heat. All Easy right. experiment. Easy try experiment. Home. So just fair warning, you won't have to clean up the water mess. <laughs> nope, you'll be okay. So you guys just opened a new exhibit last weekend. Of course, we were there live, but yeah. anything else fun happening at Science Central oh right now? Oh my goodness, it's been nonstop. So last weekend, exactly one week ago, mm -hmm. we opened up Heart Smart, 3,000 square feet of hands-on exhibits relating to the ticker, the human heart. <laughs> and a couple of days ago, we just opened up about a thousand square feet of exhibits all about the solar system, oh, wow. space, astronomy. So come in today Perfect. and you'll be able to see Right, them. yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by, Martin. I'm glad we kept me dry. <laughs> <laughs> to see this experiment again, head to wayne.com later today where you'll find more information about Science Central. We'll be right back.